Um, so it was back in October of 2021, I had my annual wellness visit and my blood pressure was 160 over 90 at that visit. Um, so my APRN, you know, she asked me a lot of questions. Um, we both agreed it was very strange, um, especially considering that I had had my annual women's wellness visit at the end of August and my blood pressure was documented as being 110 over 64. Um, so a couple months later to be 160 over 90 was just very, very strange and, and puzzling to both of us. Um, so I left that visit with a plan to get a, a blood pressure cuff to keep an eye on things at home. Um, if the numbers started trending down, I was supposed to follow up in two weeks. And if they stayed the same or increased, I needed to call the office right away. So I ended up calling the office three days later on Monday morning um, because I was seeing readings uh, in 200s over 100, which was a little bit scary. Um, they had me come back in and then they ended up sending me to the ER because in the office I was 220 over 115. Um, I went to the ER, they really didn't do a whole lot for me. They gave me a bag of fluids, they did basic lab work, made sure I didn't have a blood clot and sent me on my way home. Mm -hmm. um, so before they had transported me to the ER, my APRN decided that we were gonna order a full panel of uh, thyroid, parathyroid, labs and she also said i'm going to order this 24-hour urine collection it's going to look for these hormones called catecholamines that would indicate a tumor um she didn't think i had this tumor she said it's super rare she's never had a patient test positive for it but she wanted to rule it out um, because high blood pressure is a classic sign mm -hmm. so i um worked on getting all those labs done and in the meantime she started me on traditional blood pressure medications um I think I started on Losartan and Metoprolol. Um, those meds would work for a day or a day and a half. And then my blood pressure would be right back up to 200 over 100. Um, so we kept increasing the dosage. We were adding more meds. Um, in the meantime, I'm waiting and waiting, waiting for the urine results to come back um, because the thyroid, parathyroid labs were fine um, and we're waiting. So the urine took about a week. Um, and when that came back, my catecholamines were through the roof. So mm -hmm. she called me immediately and said, I'm sure you've seen your labs. I already called an endocrinologist. Um, we need to get you on different medications. You need a CT scan. Um, you need to see that endocrine for the next steps. Um, so that process started. Um, you know, I had a CT scan like three days later, found the FIO, saw endocrine. She sent referrals out um, and I got started on a new medication regimen. Mm -hmm.